Jessup, WIFO FM and Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio. Time now is 8.01. It is now time for the world famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO. Brought to you by Connection Coffee and Creamery, O'Quinn Associates, Murphy Builder Supply, First Southern Bank, and Vans Barbecue. Nothing brings people together quite like a great cup of coffee. At the Connection Coffee and Creamery, you will find a place where conversations begin and friendship never ends. Whether you're looking for a space to connect or a caffeine pick-me-up on your way to work, we've got just what you're looking for. From delicious handcrafted beverages to rich creamy ice cream or a filling breakfast and lunch items, we've got you covered. Short on time? Order through our Joe app or give us a call and we will have your items ready for pickup in our drive through We are open Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 5 and Saturdays, 8 to 2. We are located at 254 West Cherry Street. We look forward to connecting with you. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakland & Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South Fair Street right here in Jessup. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Hi, I'm Raymond Brown. And I'm Mandy Yeomans. At First Southern Bank, our customers are like family. As a locally owned community bank, we're dedicated to helping our clients succeed. We have loans for every need, whether it's personal or business. We have lines of credit, auto loans, equipment loans, and of course, we offer mortgages. Stop by our bank or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in southeast Georgia. World famous Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO. 105.5 FM in Jess, a big dog country radio. And Bob, how's it going? Going well. Going ready, well? Get ready to go see Coach Shaw. If Coach Shaw get fired up for this big game Friday That's night. Right. You did your interview with him this morning for the Coach's Show. Gets me fired up. Get you fired up. <laughs> ready for a big ball game up in Waynesboro. Taking on Burke County this I Friday love, night. I love doing that Coach's Show. So, I mean, he just provides a lot of information. Just we appreciate his time, but makes my Tuesdays. Makes your Tuesdays, huh? Right. He goes there after you get to the, to the so, show? Some people have Taco Tuesdays. I got Tuesdays with Coach Shaw. So. <laughs> Tuesdays with Coach Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a big event coming up starting this weekend for the month of October. We got the folks in here that know all about it. Bob, who do we have? We've got the Popples in here talking about Popple Farms, the big festivities, Reba. She's not coming, is she? She's so, not coming. Somebody tried to argue with me last night. I said, I don't think she's coming in person. They no, said, yeah. not in person. Uh, but she's the, she's in the corn maze. Though. I saw the, Her image uh, is in the corn maze. How, if I want to ask, how long does it take to do the corn maze? I mean, uh, you have a company. Does, I'm sure you have a company. Yeah. Uh, how long does it take to do something like that? Well, they um, Is it a one-day affair? Is it? Yes. Week? Yeah. Actually, they the, do it on one day. Yeah. Wow. Uh, actually, a little history behind that is um, when Janelle and I first um, added the corn maze to the farm. Um, 
we decided we were going to cut it out. And you have to realize you cut it out in August when the corn is only about uh, six inches tall. And so you're out there and it's 150 degrees, it feels like. And you're <laughs> trying to follow this, this pl- you know, the map and cut. And um, it took us about three weeks. So we did it a couple of years and then we decided um, because they do offer the service that they'll come do it for you, that it was well worth the money and we were done. So we no longer do it. Um, the the maize company um, sends somebody down and, and cuts it out for us and they actually do it in one day. They have a crew of about six people that come and um, it's just amazing to watch them when they, they, they still get out cut there. It, they still cut it when it's young? Yes. When it's yes. small corn mm-hmm. and then it just yeah. grows up like that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's correct. And everybody asked the question, how do you decide on what the theme is? And this is this is a theme that's uh, not only your uh, corn maze, but corn maze is all across the country. Is that correct? It is. It is. Again, we're part of the maze group um, and they're um, nationwide. Actually, they've got, um, they're worldwide. They've got some in a couple of other countries as well. Um, but they uh, presented this opportunity last year um, if anyone anyone wanted to be a part of it. And um, there's a total of 40 farms nationwide that signed up um, to do this. And so it's like they're, the Mays folks got with Reba's folks, and they've worked out all the details and, and the particulars as far as everything had to be approved. Um, she had to approve all the maze designs, and then of course you've heard the radio commercial. She's that, that's her, you know. That, that, yeah, that's, that's her. That's not AI. She, no, that, that's, that's Reba. <laughs> she actually cut all those commercials for us. Is there us. something going on in Reba's life that uh, they wanted to get with her this year? They got a new album coming out, or is it because she's she a new on? Book. Yeah, a absolutely. New book. Yeah, that's both. Right. Yeah, she had, the voice this year. Yeah, she yeah, has yeah. all all of those um, album act- book, yep. and of course she's on yeah. whatever show, America. What's the name of that show? The Voice. The Voice. The voice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, yes, and actually, if you come to the farm, um, there's an opportunity for you to, um, to, to be entered into a contest, um, and it's a grand prize trip. They're giving away one for, between all 40 farms, but you can register at our farm. Um, it's um, a grand prize trip to Nashville for a one-night special event, not that fancy, an evening with Reba and friends. It'll be November the 5th at the Ryman Auditorium. And the prize also includes a two-night stay at one of the hotels there. So um, they're giving that away. They're also each farm, and um, you can register. Um, we'll give one away, an autographed copy of her book um, that's coming out, Not That Fancy. So oh, okay. have a lot of couple of oppor- a lot of opportunities to to register for some prizes, some Reba prizes. But but getting back to the commercial and getting back to the because we are fielding calls daily as Reba come into the farm. Um, the she does say, "Come see me," but what she's talking, or I'll see you at the farm. But I'll what she's talking about, yeah. yeah, is is the maze. Her image is in the maze. So, um, yes, please, we we don't we want to dispel all those rumors. Re- Reba is not coming to <laughs> our maze that we're aware of. Now, that would be awesome if she does, um, but there's no plans for her to be there. Right. Yeah, it's, and we do have a big photo op. I mean, it, it's it's. Um, it's like ten foot. ten foot tall, I think it is. Um, you know, you come take your picture with Reba. But there's so much else <laughs> going on that you got all kinds of events taking place, and it all kicks off this weekend. So just run down what all when people come to Popple Farms, what all can they expect, and what all can they participate in? Yep. So beginning this Saturday is our our grand reopening, and um, of course we have one of the most um, you know, the, the most favorite activities is our hay ride down to the pumpkin patch. Um, and then a couple of new attractions we have for this year is we've added the Haytona 500. Haytona 500. Tricycle race. <laughs> we have a racetrack. We have built a tricycle, an oval tricycle racetrack. But it's an adult and kid. Yep. Adults? Yep. So you, gotta, yeah. you can try it's to get adults ra- on oh, tricycles Oh, we already too. have. Oh, you already yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. And we've raced already? our kids. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. so they've already tried it out. We have push uh, them off the edge. <laughs> What's that? You push them off the edge so you win. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. No, not really. Yes, but, you can. Can you bump and spin them out and go you around? Can. Them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty narrow path on one section. That's against the rules. But, um, it's tricycles and four adult size tricycles. So it's adults or big kids, you know. So there's no age limit to that. So that's that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we've added um, a couple of other, other things. We have 
a hula cow this year. And somebody says, what is a hula cow? So it's actually a, a cow stature um, that you throw hula hoops, try to ring it. You know, it's just a contest thing. And then contest we have, throwing hula hoops. Okay. Yeah, steer roping, you know, we we have that. We have um, lots of the the pirate ship playground area um, for lots of six and under um um, activities. Then we have, of course, we have pony rides. Um, Wind Stables provides the pony rides, and we've got a rubber duck race game. We've got a big bubble. Um, it's called Wow Amazing Bubbles. You can make giant bubbles. Um, hey, jump. I mean, just go come play in the corn box. Just it's like the ball you used to do, do ball pits. We have a right. corn pit. You can come play in that. So um, we're adding bucket golf this year. So that's a new, uh, another new attraction. So lots of things to do and lots of fun to be had by all. L- making lots of memories. Oh, yeah, you got a you got a sheet here of activities, and it yep. just goes on and on and on and on and on and on of activities yep. people can do at Papa Farms. Yeah, yep. we so, also have an awesome new playhouse too. Yeah, that your <laughs> five and under will love. It's a two story playhouse that they can come and play in. So it's cool. really cool. Yeah, so lots of things going on. Um, we're not open this Friday night. Um, because we do open Saturdays our first day, but then after this um, Saturday, Sunday, then we'll be opening on Friday night, Saturday from, well, Friday night's from 5 until 9, Saturday is from 10 until 9, and then Sunday's from 12 until 5. And um, so, um, yeah, come join us. How about the cost? People want to know what's, you know, when they come, what's, what's the admission price? So if you come on Friday night, or if you come Saturday after 5, um, the cost is eight ninety five, and that's because there's no hayride to the pumpkin patch. Um, so that's that's why there's a, a you know pretty big price difference there. Because if you come on Saturday from ten until five, or from twelve and on Sunday from twelve until five, it's sixteen ninety five each. But that includes the hayride to the pumpkin patch and includes the pumpkin. Everybody that pays to enter gets a takes home it's a small pumpkin but but they do get to take a pumpkin and um i do want to mention since we're i mentioned at night we are not doing the hunted trail this year so we're just taking a break with that um for this year and then we're just going to kind of look at things and decide if we're going to pick it back up next year or not and you've uh, intertwined uh, Christmas in with this uh, yep. this year. Um, maybe you have in the past, but you got the Christmas tree markets and Christmas on the town. Tell us about that. So as far as Christmas tree markets, we sell um, fresh cut Fraser fir trees. Um, they're brought in from Grandfather Mountain up in, up in uh, North Carolina. And um, we have eight tree lots throughout South Georgia. And um, so we tell everybody, come just look for the Popple Farm sign, get your fresh cut Fraser fir trees. And then I'll let, um, this is Paige Blanton, my daughter. I'm going to let, she heads up Christmas on the farm along with my other daughter, Megan Elliott, who's not here today. Um, but I'll let Paige, Paige tell you about Christmas on the farm. And we do want them this at the beginning of November. Yes. The Christmas tree sales. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Paige. All right. So Christmas on the farm is, this will be our second year actually um, doing this, but it's a brand new season that we are hoping will just continue to expand. Um, it's a Christmas farm uh, that has um, a little f- bit for everybody. We have probably 40,000 Christmas lots last year, I think, um, that we counted up that we put out and around the farm. We had a live nativity. We'll have, um, we'll have little shops and Christmas markets for people to browse. Um, we have a caroling, live caroling. Um, we have um campfire we have a lot of areas that people can come and just hang and just be with their family and enjoy the christmas atmosphere we have santa claus every night that we're open Um, we have letters to santa where you get a personalized letter um, back from the north pole Um, and so christmas on the farm is just starting and we are so very excited about it um and we hope that it continues to right and that begins on december December the first yes sir all right christmas tree trail uh, sales on the November 18th, and Christmas on the Farm begins on December 1st. So you got more activities. You got all the October. You got activities beginning this Saturday, and then all through October, and then you're coming back in mid-November and going up to Christmas. We do. Um, Christmas tree sales starts the weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, is usually when all of our um, tree lots o- open up. Um, but getting back um, to the farm uh, to the fall. Um, I did want to mention, um, it, you know, y'all make sure you come hungry. We got lots of food options on the farm. We have um, 
uh, we have chicken fingers, French fries, uh, you know, just anything you can imagine as far as um, hamburg grilled hamburgers, hot dogs, lots of things. We'll have kettle corn, um, and then we have um, hand-dipped ice cream and um, homemade milkshakes as well. Then we have a couple of food trucks that will be joining us this year. We have The Stand. Um, that's Morris Lewis and his family, and then Tender Pig Barbecue, um, which is Guy v. Beasley and, and his folks um, that's always also going to be with us. So, um, again, just lots of fun. Yeah, I like Come the names under you. got the CAF. Have you pronounced that the CAFE? Yep. The CAF, <laughs> C-A-L-F, folks. CAF, A, like CAF, A, Chuck Wagon, Scarecrow Snow Combs, Great Granny's Bakery, The Watering Hole, Kettle Corn Barn, and Lickety Split Sweets. Yes. All right. Yep. All kinds. They're just go, come there hungry. Yep. You got to eat when you're there at Papa yep. Farms. And I'll say it, you know, again, at night, um, on Friday nights or Saturday nights, um, you know, if, you're, if your kids want to come play and jump, we got those big jumping pillows, um, you know, and of course we have flashlight nights in the maze. Um, there's no lights out there, so it makes it a little fun, you know, to, to do that. And, and so, you know, parents come, bring your kids. Um, you know, we've got a, if you don't want to do the activities with them, we've got a rocking chair for you <laughs> out there. You can sit. You and, can sit there on the porch and rock away while and, your kids, your grandkids play around, yep, right? Enjoy the atmosphere because there's, of course, there's music playing all the time. Um, you can come eat, you know, with us and just hang out and enjoy it. Sounds fun. You're Sounds like a lot of fun. Down the special event weekends. Yes, a special event weekends. Yes. So um, this weekend is our grand reopening weekend. Um, the next Saturday is Scout Day on the farm. Um, at one point, it was it was just Girl Scout Day, but we have opened it up to all Scouts, um, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. Then we have um, other Scouting groups um, in our in our neighborhood or in our region now. So we invite all of them to come. Um, it's um, if you will go on our website at popplefarms.com and it explains that and explains the ticketing um, prices on that. There is a discount for the Scouts. And we're also going to have um, a drawing for special um, scout prizes. So that's always a lots of fun. And then um, Sensory Sensitive Morning is going to be um, October the 8th. That's on a Sunday morning. And we do that from 10 until 12. And um, that's where um, we accommodate our friends with special needs in their families. The farm and the hayride music will all be turned off, and all loud noises will be minimized. There will be no large crowds or long lines. The hayride will be constantly running to avoid wait times. So that's from 10 until tw um, till 12 on Sunday morning, October the 8th. And then the gates will open for our regular, um, um, you know, at 12 o'clock for the, for the other guests to come in as well. Um, then on the 14th is Safety Day, which is always a lot of fun. Our friend um, Steve Crane with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office heads that up for us. And we, and then John Westbury with the Jessup Fire Department. Um, we, have lots of, um, we have lots of safety vehicles on display. Um, we have the, the firehouse for the kids. And um, so lots of fun with that. And then on the 21st is Football Fanatics Day. So you come dressed in your favorite um, football team's attire, and you'll be entered into our prize drawing for the day. Um, we'll be giving away lots of gift cards and lots of prizes. We've got lots of uh, plans on that. Nothing's concrete yet, but we're, you know, thinking about having a football toss, throwing contest, things. So um, that's all of that's in the works. Then, of course, on Saturday the 28th will be our final um, Saturday, and it's our Halloween party and our outdoor movie night. So come watch it, the movie uh, amongst the stars. Bring your blankets. Throw it on the ground. Um, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and Spookly the Square Pumpkin. All this going on at Popple Farms begins this Saturday and uh, starts at 10 o'clock this Saturday and goes all the way through October 29th, they're at Popple Farms, located on Hama Popple Loop, off of uh, Tank Road, just outside of Odom. Yes, and you can um, uh, for more for tickets. Um, we do have online tickets, so for tickets or more information about any of the activities or about our farm in general, you can visit our website at popplefarms.com. 
Um, I do want to mention there's no pets, no smoking or alcoholic beverages allowed. Um, and um, if follow us on Facebook, they're running a, we're running a contest now. Um, we're giving away some tickets. So, um, and it's just really neat to go and read all the comments from all the folks who've come over the years. Um, and we're just come make some memories like those folks have. Um, they're leaving a comment um, of their favorite memory of the farm. So that's been pretty cool. But yeah, follow us on Facebook because they'll have another ticket giveaway um, one day this week, I'm not sure. Um, and also, just to clarify, we do not choose the winners. Um, we have someone in charge that does that for us because we did have a local winner in the last contest. And <laughs> <laughs> I was told it was rigged. So it's not rigged. We don't choose. <laughs> and, and what was that giveaway? Dog country. Yeah. We, give, yep. we have ticket giveaways yep. too. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So that sounds great. Sounds good. I mean, it's always a bunch of fun. Y'all are always reimagining each year with some new activities, but having the old favorites there. Someone wants to know if you're going to have the smoked turkey legs this year. And we will, you, yes. Yeah, the old favorites and then yeah. with the activities and stuff like that and the, the, the always exciting corn maze there. I like the questionnaire here that's got Reba's Country Music Passport through the corn maze. And you go, you got steps one through nine on different trivia questions about Reba. And if you get them right you turn the correct way you know if you get the correct answer you turn left you turn right or you know whatever the case may be and if you know the answers to these uh nine questions you can get the core maze without getting lost so yeah that's very interesting right there yep yeah that that's pretty fun uh it's just um and uh like i said it's like you said it's reba reba trivia so if you know anything about her you know in her life and all um you'll you'll get out pretty quick if you don't you might be there for a while <laughs> <laughs> And it's always a lot of fun at Popple Farms. Hima Popple Loop Road, just outside of um, of Odom, on, right off Tank Road. You can't miss it. you got signs all over the place. Yes. So you can't miss it. Yep. You can't miss it at all. It's always a lot of fun. Anything else, Bob, for the Popple uh, this morning? Just looking forward to the grand open. I said it's, all, it's just amazing to me that when you go out there, walk through the park lot, see all the out-of-county tags, out-of-state tags. It's amazing how many people come to the corn maze. Yes, it, it is, and it, it, um, it, it, we're very thankful, um, very humbled, and very thankful, um, appreci very appreciative. Um, we get lots of comments from folks, and, and it's, it really surprises us um, as well. Okay. <laughs> now, you, if you look at the signs there, y'all's Popple Farms is part of the ecotourism for the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Did y'all have to do something to qualify for that, for the, the state to, to say, all right, you're going to be part of the official ecotourism a tour here in the state of georgia yes yeah, so the the agro agritourism agritourism um, yes. not eco agritourism yep. i'm sorry i said the wrong thing that's okay that's okay it's through the um georgia grown program through the georgia department of agriculture okay. so yes it is a process um you you know an application process and then you know then an interview and everything and they come visit with you so yeah there are certain qualifications you have to meet to to be part of the program well, y'all going to be very busy. Y'all already been very busy, but, you know, to really kick in this Saturday uh, there for all the activities going on during the month of October, starting actually on September 29th. And then you got the Christmas tree sales that begin on the 18th. And then you got the Christmas Christmas tree. Then you got the Christmas on the farm beginning on December 1st. So y'all going to be very busy. Yes. <laughs> yep. So come visit with us. We'd All love right. to have you. Popple Farms. Always lots of fun. And we'll be giving away tickets to Popple Farms, so get ready to win some of those beginning tomorrow. All right. Y'all take care. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. See you out at the farm. All right. All right. More of the World Famous Butcher. Are you ready to go? Uh, I didn't know we had more time. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, you can go if you want to. Go ahead, Bob. Go ahead and get that interview done with the coach. All right. South Georgia weather. <laughs> Here's your WIFO forecast. Slight chance of showers early, but will be partly sunny, later becoming mostly cloudy. A 50% chance of showers, slight chance of afternoon thunder, mid-80s. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening, lows in the upper 60s. Tomorrow, cloudy. Slight chance of showers in the morning, then showers likely. Chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, upper 70s. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the GNN Weather Center. Join us this Tuesday morning, September 26 at 9 o'clock for our annual DNR show right here on WIFO 105.5 FM. Game wardens from the Department of Natural Resources will be in our studios live to inform you about the latest changes to rules and regulations for this hunting season. Plus, they will answer questions you can call or text in. 
Hunters, make sure you listen to our annual hunting show this Tuesday morning, September 26th, beginning at 9 o'clock here on WIFO 105.5 FM. Hear what the DNR game wardens have to say and let them answer your questions. That's right. That's coming your way in about 34 minutes right here on WIFO FM Jessup, world famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO, brought to you by Connection Coffee and Creamery, O'Quinn Associates, Murphy Builder Supply, First Southern Bank, and Vans Barbecue.